Okay, I decided I'm gonna make a couple of videos and put them together in a series. It's gonna be strung out. It might take me, you know, months, but I'm gonna start trying out uh, foods that you can get at Walmart or Academy or places that are, um, you know, I don't have living where I live at. I don't have like a, a REI or I don't have any back specialized backpacking places or backcountry places. But so if I want to get um, food, I've got to order it. I've got to wait on it to ship. Um, and then when it gets here, I might try it and taste it and I don't like it. Uh, or uh, even worse, I do like it. And then when I go to reorder, then it's unavailable or not in stock. So, um, plus they're kind of expensive. The mountain house meals in particular, they're about 10 bucks. And so if you were going to have to buy, uh, say you were going to go on a hunt that was going to, you're going to hunt for seven days and you might want to have two of these per day. Um, that's a lot of money. So, it, you know, you can pick them up every time you go shopping or something like that, throw in the buggy or something like that and spread it out over time leading up to your trip. So I'm kind of, and plus it's gonna take me some time to go up and down the aisles and find stuff. So this is just the first video that's gonna lead into a series and I'll break it up. I'm gonna do breakfast, I'm gonna do some uh, snacks and I'm gonna do like dinner type meals. This is strictly if you're um, like, truck camping and you don't want to build a fire or if you're backpacking and you don't have the luxury of being able to put a bunch of stuff in your truck like potatoes and onions and um, there's kind of a difference between like truck camping meals which you have probably have access to an ice chest versus like um, you're using filtered water and a stove so um, I'm here at my house I've got a, a little boil um, electric uh, kettle like boil water so I'm gonna do all these bag meals and I'm not gonna get there's some exotic ones out there um, that probably are better or an upgrade from the mountain house stuff but mountain house if you live near a Walmart anybody can get these um, they're over in the camping section I've got some other stuff I'm gonna try some of the um, granola bars and the fruit bars or and, and I'm trying to stick to that um, 100 calorie per ounce guideline because there's a lot of foods that are, um, they're, they're not very nutrient dense. So these are things that are gonna be nutrient dense that you can either buy or make. Um, and so this is just the first one I'm gonna try. This is uh, Mountain House Beef Stroganoff. And like I said, every time I eat one or I get a chance, today I didn't eat lunch, so this is gonna kinda be my lunch. Um, every time I get a chance to eat something or snack, I'm just going to uh, put it on a short video and then I'm going to string all those videos together and have them sectioned off into freeze dried meals, snack meals. And then the main thing is going to be meals you can make. There's a lot of stuff you can make, um, with bagels, peanut butter, bacon, s dried salami, um, cheeses, things like that, that are meals that you'll want to make that you don't necessarily buy. Those are probably the cheapest way to go. And the trick is tracking all the ingredients to make sure that they're nutrient dense. So, um, and whenever I, whenever I do make something, I'll put a list of the, I'll try to, I'll try to look up everything that's in an ingredient and put that together so that you understand if you make yourself a dried salami, a sandwich on a bagel, and you, you use a food saver to vacuum seal it, or um, they even make some, if you don't have a food saver, you can put a little vacuum pump and suck down a Ziploc bag style deal to save space. And also you don't want air in there if you're trying to have something keep for a long number of days, you know, and, and I'll try to stay around a week or so. This isn't some survivor series where we're gonna talk about 30 days in the wilderness. Now this is just like going on a week's vacation to hunt out of state or to backpack out of state or something like that. And, uh, and you might be away from the ability to cook a meal. So this is 4.3 ounces. It's got 580 calories total, uh, 22 grams of protein. If you eat the whole thing, it is high in sodium, but, um, there's some argument on whether or not that's bad for you these days, especially if you're getting dehydrated and replenishing yourself with just filtered water. 
um, and you don't have any electrolytes, you're gonna want the sodium. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. And this isn't a daily diet. This is a this is just a small portion of what you're gonna eat. If you're if you eat clean and you manage your sodium when you're at home, um, when you go out hiking and you're hunting around and walking around and stuff like that, it's not gonna be a big deal for you to intake a higher sodium level. So it's nine nine minutes start to finish. They recommend putting 13 ounces of water and then 13 ounces of boiling water and then about halfway through it to um, open it up, stir it around, mix it real good and then let it sit for another four minutes. And there's guys that um, are hardcore and they take them out of these containers and put them in Ziplocs. My only problem with that is a Ziploc won't do this. This thing, you can get it and it's like a ball. A Ziploc won't do this. So you're gonna have to try to fumble around and it'd be real sad if you only pack seven meals to lose one of your whole meals if it spilled or the, the something happened to the Ziploc, you poked a hole in it or something like that. These are really tough. So um, I saw, man, I love Aaron Snyder. I, I love him. I think the guy's just like freaking hardcore, does everything right. But he takes these and dumps them into Ziplocs to save weight and burn the trash because a Ziploc will burn up into just nothing. But um, man, this is like, I would say one of the few things I disagree with him on and he's way more experienced than I am. Um, so maybe he knows a better way to do that and maybe he's transferring them into like a titanium pot. If you had a titanium pot with a lid, you could do the Ziploc, the Ziploc method. But um, that's the only thing I could see. Maybe maybe he's talking about not using, but he did mention putting your water in the bag. So maybe he's using a Ziploc. I don't know how you're gonna hold a Ziploc or I don't know. This right here, um, you can set this down and after it cools off, it's, it's a lot easier to handle than a Ziploc. But I, I like the integrity of it. I like the foil aspect of it because it's probably gonna cook it better. Um, I don't know, I just think the people that design these things for the military, all the MREs, the cook bags are the, are the same. They're like this. So, and some people complain about the depth. So this is a normal kitchen spoon, um, and I don't I don't think it's a real big problem getting down to the bottom. Um, if you left the top on, so I cut this top off. I would probably do that. Uh, seal it with a, seal this, um, but then you run the risk of it spilling. So. I'm saying at camp, tear it as, cl as close to this as possible, and then you got your bowl. But they do make a longer spoon. I've got a I've got a titanium spoon that's longer. It's a long. It's a nine inch spoon for. It's made just for eating out of these things. But um, as I go along, I'm also going to give my my two cents on the taste. A lot of this stuff. I'm buying it and I'm tasting it and I'm trying to develop a system. I want a meal system down before the fall gets here. It's the middle of summer right now and I want a system down before I get into a hunt that I know exactly what snack bars I want to take. I know exactly what jerky I want to take. I know exactly what cheese, bagel, uh, mountain house. Because uh, some of these are not going to agree with me. Some of these you just flat out, you're not going to like the taste or it doesn't sit well on your stomach or something like that. So I'm gonna try to work the kinks out from that aspect before I get up into the mountains. Um, like I said, just, it's all trial and error. What tastes good to me might not to somebody else or whatever, but, um, and I've watched a lot of videos, so I kind of have an idea of what not to spend money on or where to, what a starting point would be. You know, 10 out of 10 people say that the biscuits and gravy is just the bomb. I'm gonna have to try that. And I'm gonna, you know, it wasn't at my Walmart today when I was there, this was. So this is where I'm starting. Um, but Beef Stroganoff gets also good reviews. Those guys from Go Hunt, um, they all review these meals. So there's other videos that just go through all 31 flavors of that. This is not gonna be what this video is. I'm just gonna try what's available to me, uh, easy to get my hands on and something that uh, I'm trying to build a, a, a backcountry hunt basically from like Walmart or Amazon. I don't, I don't have specialized stores around me 
Um, and I don't have a lot of money to spend on, um, cause I don't do a lot of hunts. I'm, I'm talking about doing one or two hunts a year. So I'm not going to invest like some of these other guys. I'm not, I don't have the money to invest in a $600, uh, frame pack system or a thousand dollar tent system, shelter system. Um, all the stuff that I'm trying out and all the stuff that I'm experimenting with is budget type of stuff because uh, this isn't my job. This is what I do for a living. It's just a hobby. Um, and it's not something that I'm uh, life or death serious about. And I'm not um, out here doing it for the brand of some company that I work for or something like that. So um, anyways, now that I'm, I've been talking so that it could cool off a little bit. That's really good. Um, wow. I mean, that's awesome. The, the noodles are good. The little chunks of meat are good. The gravy's really good. It's not something I would eat in the middle of the day. Um, if I had a lot more walking to do, this might make you want to take a nap. But if, if you've been hunting all day, you got back to the truck or you got back to your tent uh, and threw this together, this is, and it's 500 calories for four ounces. So like I said, most people talk about keeping your meals around 100 calories per ounce. So if you packed in 3,200 calories, that's two pounds. Two pounds of food that you could yield 3,200 calories out of is very, very, very nutrient dense. So when I'm buying these bars, I bought some RX bars and I'll do a video about them, but um, the, the anything, these Mountain House, it does all the thinking for you. They've thought of the nutrient dense part of it. They've thought of the weight versus the calories you're gonna get. 580 calories for one meal is, is great. So when I'm looking at the back of stuff, like, um, you know, obviously candy bars are an item that everybody throws in. I'll talk a little bit about candy, but um, the the breakfast bars, the granola style bars, I'm looking for, if the bar is two ounces, I'm looking for 200 calories minimal in that bar. Um, I don't really get overly concerned about protein, but if I pick up two things and one says, it's got 10 grams and one's got 15, I'm gonna try for the 15. It might taste terrible and I might have to fall back on something with a lower protein amount, but, um, cause ultimately it's got a taste. Taste is over nutrition to me. Cause if it's, uh, it could be made out of figs and dates and walnuts or whatever. And if it tastes like trash, I'm not gonna eat it. Something that's just like a s'mores flavor. Uh, for, I'm, I'm thinking of, bars in particular because i saw one that was like s'mores and it was 10 grams and one that was just like uh cranberry flight or something like that and it was like more protein i grabbed the s'mores because i know i'm more likely to eat that than something that just tastes like cranberries but um so when it gets down to it that's what i'm looking for and i'm gonna string i'm gonna make a video every time i eat one of these and put them together um and try to keep it going. It might be two or three, it might be broken down into three parts where it's uh, breakfast or, you know, freeze dried meals, snack meals, meals you make, something like that. I'll figure that out down the road. But anyways, um, so this is the first video of, and then I'm sure from here, it's gonna patch into uh, all the other ones that I eat over the next several months. So thanks. Okay. Second, second meal in the freeze dried bag meal um, video. This is a mountain house lasagna with meat sauce. It says it's 440 calories. So it's not as calorie dense as uh, the stroganoff, but you're still over that 100 calories uh, per ounce. I think it's probably 4.3. Oh no, this one's actually 3.6. So. It's, uh, it's fewer ounces, so it's maintaining that same kind of calorie density. But um, same as the other ones, you know, the, the, the theme with the Mountain House is, you know, high sodium and uh, adequate amount of protein. So 
I'm gonna then check it out here. It's a little more, um, it, it calls for a, a, a light lighter on the water. And I think you could probably even go, you could go lighter than this. Um, man, it looks really hot. I don't wanna burn my face off. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to group all of the, I'm gonna group all of the freeze dried stuff together, group all the snack stuff. And probably I was thinking about it, I'll probably put breakfast food um, in with the snack stuff because I'm not big on breakfast. Um, there's some breakfast mountain houses that'll be in this um, series of videos, but, uh, but anyways, here we go. It's good. I mean, I'm not surprised. I didn't pick any of the ones that they said were nasty. I'll save those um, till I can find them. In my Walmart, they had chicken and dumpling, stroganoff, and uh, I think they had this one in beef stew. The one that everybody says you either love it or hate it is the Cheesy Mac. Um, I've had Cheesy Mac that was like a military, like an MRE but I haven't had it from Mountain House. But um, other than being a little bit of like a, uh, like a, a pesto or like a oregano strong on the, which I mean, that's a, that's true Italian, I guess, but um, it does, it's, it's like uh, real strong spaghetti sauce. But um, that's fine. If it agrees with my system, um, I ate the I ate beef stroganoff yesterday and had no issues. I'm, I'm eating this um, as long as it agrees with my digestive tract. If I if I get outrageous heartburn, which sometimes I do from Italian it's like pizza, but that might be from the grease and the pepperoni or something like that, or the bread or whatever. But if I don't get outrageous heartburn or any sort of um, stomach issues, man. Zani with meat sauce makes the list. Beef stroganoff makes the list. I mean, these are things I'm not going to be, um, I feel like after I get through all 31 flavors or whatever, I'll have enough that I can be gone for a week and not have to eat the same thing. I, I hear stories from guys that eat the same meal every night. I don't know if I could do that, but, um, but you know, if you're in a beautiful place, if you're up in the mountains and the scenery is great and everything, you probably don't care about food. If food is not a necessity, or food is not a priority when you're in somewhere like on a, on a hunt and your your mind is racing and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, lasagna with meat sauce, man, awesome. This will definitely go in my pack. Go down on the list of things that um, when I see these, like I said, I'm just gonna start picking up a few. Because these keep, this says good till 2052. No joke. The year 2052. So every time I'm at the store, um, if I'm on a grocery run or something like that, and I see one of these flavors that tastes good, I'm going to pick them up. Just throw it in the buggy. 10 bucks a pop. Because um, this isn't something you want to go out if you're going to be gone for 14 days. You don't want to go buy 28 of these at one time. You're going to regret it. So, um, but I feel like I could put together 28 of these over, uh, you know, a couple of month period and it's no big deal. So every time you're at the store, if you're, if you're like me and you're budgeting for these trips and these hunts and stuff like that, um, you get what you like, just start throwing them in there. And, you know, worst case scenario, if you're a prepper, um, and you had to eat it when the power was out or something like that, or you didn't have the ability, all you could do is boil water or something like that. It's definitely um, can go in the garage like me. I have a whole section of just like prepper type items and I pull from those items whenever uh, I'm gonna be gone on a hunt or something like that. You know, that's where you keep all your, your butane um, fuel mix, your propane bottles, your weatherproof matches, 
and uh, get a tote that's gonna keep these from any kind of rodents or anything like that and uh, start making a, making a stash pile of these. This one's going in the list. So beef stroganoff, this is lasagna with meat sauce, 440 calories. Uh, looks like we're getting around 22 grams of protein. So that's good. Um, 22 grams of protein, 440 calories if you eat the whole thing. And it's 3.6 ounces to yield that um, 440 calories. So you're still good on your, you know, nutrient uh, density. But um, anyways, thanks. All right. So this, I'm just judging by the looks of it. When I was making it, um, I don't know about this one. Breakfast skillet. It's got eggs, sausage, potatoes, peppers, and onions. 520 calories and 28 grams of protein um, for this. And it is 3.7. So 3 ounces, 3.7 ounces for 520 calories is pretty good. Um, same as the other ones, 5 and 4. It did say to go a little lighter on the water. This one only called for 10 ounces of water as opposed to the other ones that called for like 13 ounces of water. Um, but uh, I, I do have some some hot sauce. I, I picked this one because I know I can get it in the travel packets. Um, you can get sriracha and a little bitty uh, tear open things. So, and it's pretty universal. You could put it on you can put it on whatever, but, um, yeah, so I went to a different, went to a different store and, uh, it, cause our Walmart here had some mountain house. Our Academy has mountain house. Academy has a lot more than Walmart. Walmart's got all the hooks there, but people buy them up and stuff like that. I guess preppers. Um, maybe there's a lot of hikers and backpackers in East Texas. I don't think so, but, uh, but yeah, this is my, my East Texas Walmart has just a limited selection. Go over to Academy and Tyler and it's got a ton of them. So I'm going to eat it. With, I'm going to try it without. So here goes. These eggs look pretty suspect. And I like eggs. So that's saying a lot. If you don't like eggs, there's got to be probably no way that you can eat this. But I like eggs. It's a, it's different. Let's put a little hot sauce on it. Cause right, like, just like it is, that's probably a no go for me. It's a million percent better with hot sauce, a million percent better, but, um, the, the sausage is great. The potatoes are even doable. The thing that probably isn't doable for me is like the eggs. Um, if you're truck camping, it's easy to take fresh eggs in a little deal. Um, and you wouldn't eat something like this. As if you're going to make breakfast at your pickup, you probably wouldn't eat something like this. Um, if weight was an issue. If weight was an issue, um, this isn't terrible. On a scale of one to ten, um, so far, I would say my favorite has been the beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff being a like an eight or a nine, I would probably say this is like a six, um, and that's only based on texture. The flavor is fine. It's got a weird texture thing. The eggs are kind of like um, sandy, like your um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's a six, five or a six on just because of the texture. Flavor's fine. You, you could eat it if you had to, but we're talking about the stuff that I would choose to take. And we're talking about being out there for, you know, two, three, four, maybe a week. And on a week long trip, you don't have to eat something you don't like for a week. Heck, I mean, I could eat the same thing every day for a week. Um, I don't get where people talk about the monotony of having to mix up your diet. It's a week. 
week you can eat I can eat a peanut butter sandwich every day for a week and be fine. Um, this is like luxury. This is a ten dollar or nine dollar whatever one of these costs. I mean, this is like best case scenario where you're trying to get calorie dense stuff in here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go into I'm gonna talk about some stuff that you can make DIY stuff you can make that probably will will have at least 500 calories, like some bagel sandwiches, stuff like that. So for me, probably breakfast scramble isn't gonna make the list. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have some beef stroganoff with me when I go. I'm gonna have probably the lasagna meat sauce. Um, but uh, I can't wait to try, I'm gonna try biscuits and gravy probably last because it's, it's the most critically acclaimed. You know, it gets the most high reviews of any of these things. So. I'll uh I'll save the best for last. But for me, breakfast scramble in a pinch, yeah. If if psychologically you just want to eat eggs in the morning and you don't want to, you know, eat something non-breakfast psychologically, you could eat a breakfast scramble. Um, but for me, I'm probably not doing this on a where I have a choice um and where I'm trying to just eat the best things that are my favorite things to eat. This was not one would be one of my favorite freeze dried meals, simply because the texture. So, thanks. This one is beef stew. Um, I'm not looking forward to this one because just making it, it uh, I don't know. We'll see. So I like that they keep it five and four. Cooks for five minutes, stir, rest for four minutes. Um, this one called for more water, but. Um, it's, it's only 400 calories, so I don't know. It's a lot of potato, a lot of dehydrated potato. It says in here it's got uh, hearty gravy, beef, potatoes, carrots, and peas. It is a lot of potato, not much beef. Um, so we'll see. It's not bad, 20 grams of protein. Um, this one, I'm not, I won't buy it again. It's probably not gonna make the list. Only because the beef stroganoff was so good and um, the lasagna one was so good. I'm kind of like, the bar right now is beef stroganoff. I'm saving the best for last. I'm gonna try the, um, uh, Biscuits and gravy. That's the one that gets good reviews. I'm saving it for last. But yeah, I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 10, give this maybe a 5 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's not what I would eat. It's not my number one choice. It would just, you know, make a meal. But um, anyways, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna keep going, put this one kind of, it's not terrible. There's nothing off-putting about it, the flavor or thing like that, but I'm just gonna put it closer to the bottom of the list. Right now with the beef stroganoff being like an eight or nine out of 10, I would give this like five. Um, and it's not, it doesn't have as many calories. So um, if you're just going for calorie density and you're, and you're worried about weight and space, um, I'm, not, I'm not putting this in there. Uh, especially because it's low down on the on the uh, calorie scale. But anyways, beef stew. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it. This is my lunch for today, and um, that's the only thing I regret about uh, trying some of these is that I'll uh, not eat so that I can eat this and review it. And when they're bad, it just makes for a crappy meal. They're so expensive, you don't want to throw them away. These things are like ten bucks a piece, so I'm not just gonna pour it out. Um, I'm going to sit here and eat it and it's not bad, you know, but thanks for watching. All right. This is the biscuits and gravy that gets all the good reviews. It's, um, a little bit different consistency than I thought it would be. It's kind of like mush, but, um, I'll give it a shot and it's really hot. It's good. It's not a, as much pepper as I thought it would be.
it's a, uh, it's like a sage. I don't know. It's uh, 560 calories though. 22 grams of protein if you eat the whole thing. If you ate, if you eat this whole thing, it's probably very filling. It's got a lot of little chunks of bread or little biscuit, I guess. And um, once they started to rehydrate, it looked like a bag of croutons. Once it started to rehydrate, it's like a bag of uh, some kind of like porridge or something. But it is really good. I think it's people are overhyping it a little, but it's excellent. I mean, if you were out camping and you hadn't had restaurant food or any kind of food and you ate this, yeah, it probably, probably would be really good, but it's not what, I mean, I think it's probably, I don't know, it's the same as the lasagna with meat sauce or maybe the stroganoff. I would put them all kind of equal. People were acting like this was just like blowing everything away and it's good. Um, it's not just like all the flavor and everything like they were at. Rosemary, okay. So that's what it is. No, it has sage. So that's sage and rosemary. That's what you taste more than the pepper. Um, it's kind of weird for me. But it's good. Okay. You can make these. You can make these in the pouch with yeah. boiling water. It just takes a long time. And it turns out edible. Is it good? Mm-hmm. All right. I tried it. It's pretty good. But it's not as good as one of these meals. But it works. Just to prove that it did work. If you eat the whole thing, it's 440 calories. And almost no... Well, it's got 14 grams of protein. But I got... I might have to enlist some help. So, I wasn't planning on doing this uh, flavor, but I saw it, so let me check it out. It's chicken pad thai, or pad thai with chicken. Um, so, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, and I'm super hungry, so this isn't really the best time to be trying it out. But 480 calories, 20 grams of protein. And um, let me see if I can get a piece of chicken. It doesn't have really much smell to it. It doesn't smell like I thought it would smell. pretty good you don't have much flavor at all um nothing offensive it's not good it's not bad it's just kind of like i don't know so maybe if you don't like beef and you're looking for chicken options or something throw it in the mix for me it's not better than lasagna with meat sauce it's not better than beef stroganoff it's not better than biscuits and gravy but we're, I'm getting to the end of these and kind of running out of flavors to try. I think chicken and dumplings is next. I was going to save the um, biscuits and gravy for last because it's gotten such great reviews. But, you know, I, I you saw that. It wasn't all that great. So chicken pad thai, I mean... One to ten maybe six, it's not unedible. It's just, uh, it'd make a meal. It would it would do good if you were starving. I mean, that's the thing, a lot of these, <clears throat> a lot of these you're gonna be eating them when you're really, really hungry. Um, kind of like I am right now, but I'm in my house thinking of all the other stuff I could have to eat, so it's not that great. But uh, that's chicken pad thai, 480 calories, 20 grams of protein. Um, you're running out of options if you're on a long hunt where you're going to be seven eight days in there maybe throw it in your rotation but if you're going to be gone from civilization for three or four days i can make it on just you know one of the other flavors but uh that's it thanks okay real quick here goes the chili 
chili mac with beef this is the one that gets the worst reviews so i'm not not anticipating this being the greatest 24 grams of protein and 460 calories in this um so it's kind of it's right there in line with the other ones it's got a little bit more protein but um if i don't do this now i don't want to I don't want to get it get up there on you know on a trip and find out that, that it's not that good later. So here goes. Let's check it out. It's totally fine. I mean the macaroni's a weird consistency. I maybe could have left it sealed up, but it's actually was sealed longer than it called for. And the noodles are still kind of uh like al dente they're not really um softened up but yeah it's it's decent um the knock on it not so much people saying that the that it um it tastes that bad everybody says it just like tears your stomach up so if uh you know you can't take it no matter how good it tastes you can't take it on trip if it tears your stomach up but anyways so yep same as all the rest of them same flavor same it's not gonna overthrow uh beef stroganoff just yet but it's it's good i think it's better than the beef stew so probably on a scale of one to ten if if i gave beef stew i think a five this would be a seven for flavor and unless it makes me violently ill in some way then uh i would take this on a trip it's got beans in it meat in it it's got a whole bunch of gravy this this thing turned into a lot of thick gravy um so it's mostly it's a lot of liquid it, it seems like compared to the other ones it doesn't have as much volume in it um and it is 3.8 ounces so i guess it's less by volume but 3.8 ounces 460 calories 24 grams of protein and um a lot of gravy a lot of beans and um uh, but yeah, the flavor's fine. I don't mind the flavor at all. And there's people that knock the flavor and there's people that say that it tears your stomach up. But um, all, all other things aside, if it doesn't mess up my stomach, I would definitely take this and skip the beef stew. All right, so this is the last part. I'm just gonna power through and do what I have left. I had three oatmeal and then the chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings is 33 grams of protein and 600 calories. Um, if you take down the whole thing. And I was surprised to see that it had like peas and carrots. I thought it was just gonna kind of be like the biscuits and gravy version. But check it out. To me, I was nervous because I really like chicken and dumplings. So I didn't want this to be a big letdown. It's really good. I might say better than the biscuits and gravy. This is like a, like an eight. Eight or nine on scale of one to ten. It's excellent. The peas are kind of weird, but man, that's good. That's excellent. So the oatmeal that I have, I'll just run through them right quick. Just to, I'm not gonna eat all of them. Obviously, I just want to be done with them. I've got strawberries and cream, which smells the best so far honey and almonds and then the kodiak just says maple and brown sugar but because it's got the protein in it it had some little floaty deals in it this has 14 grams of protein the only way i can figure that they're doing that because he says four the only way i can figure they're doing that is by putting those little things like what what was in the um granola bar it's like a little pellet or something um, and it tastes just like you're eating sand. So I hope it's not the case on this. Because I didn't like the grill. One. 
That's actually good. Power cup. The problem, these are like $2.60. These are like $1.30. So these are like exactly half price. Oh, and these are 100 and 190 calories. This is 230 calories. So this has got a little bit more calories for basically the same, same weight. That's really good. This is gonna be tough. They're all gonna be good and then I'm not gonna have helped anybody out. Okay, that's my favorite. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. It smelled the best, it tastes the best. 160 calories on the strawberry, 190 calories on honey and almond, 230 on this. So if I was gonna be walking around a whole lot, I'd probably do this and sacrifice taste for more protein, more calories. If I was just gonna be not putting out a lot of calories or I had a lot of other nutrient dense stuff in my pack, I would go with something that just tastes better. But I'm not a big breakfast person. This is, I wanted to throw these in here because there's some people that are just die hard breakfast, whether they're camping or hunting, they're not gonna go without breakfast. Me, um, because breakfast isn't a big part of my normal life, it's not something that I would um, really be disappointed in not having if I was on a hunt. I usually just drink coffee, so probably I, instead of taking something like this, I would use this space to pack in my coffee. But um, yeah, that's about that's about it for the, uh, that wraps up. This is gonna be part one, so it's gonna be just kind of freeze dried food. Um, and hopefully if you're watching to this point, I've been through all the different mountain houses and um, I didn't do ramen because you know, everybody's got, everybody, everyone doesn't need me giving a ramen review but there's always a ramen, there's always stuff like this. The main thing is I wanted to spend the money and do the mountain house because these are like 10 bucks a piece and not everybody wants to go out and just rifle through tasting all the different mountain house things. But, um, but anyways, that's all there is. Thanks for watching.